Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, information meeting for the design project for a 3.8-mile segment of Interstate 75, or I-75, from south of Bee Ridge Road to south of Fruitville Road. This information meeting is being conducted to present the final design plans for the project. FDOT is preparing design plans for I-75 from south of Bee Ridge Road to south of Fruitville Road, including reconstruction of the Bee Ridge Road interchange. State Road 93, also known as I-75, and State Road 758, also known as Bee Ridge Road, is under the FDOT jurisdiction, and Cattleman Road is under the jurisdiction of Sarasota County. The project need is defined in the I-75 Multimodal Master Plans and the Project Development and Environment Study. The project is also part of the Sarasota County Comprehensive Plan and the Sarasota Manatee Metropolitan Planning Organization's Long Range Transportation Plan. The project is needed to accommodate future traffic demands as well as improve safety and hurricane evacuation. Since the development of I-75 and the Bee Ridge Road interchange in 1979, the surrounding area has grown significantly, while the interstate and interchange have remained the same. The video shows the changes to the area between 1980 and 2016. Between 2013 and 2040, traffic through the interchange will double from approximately 200,000 to 430,000 vehicles per day. The traffic through the Bee Ridge Road, Cattleman Road intersection will also increase from approximately 150,000 to 225,000 vehicles per day. This growth is a 50% increase from 2013 to 2040. FDOT completed the Project Development and Environment Study, or PD&E study, for I-75 from State Road 681 to north of University Parkway in 2011. The design phase for I-75 from south of Bee Ridge Road to south of Fruitville Road began in 2013 and is ongoing. The final design should be completed in 2018. Right-of-way acquisition is partially funded and construction is not currently funded or scheduled within the department's five-year work program. In accordance with federal and state laws and regulations, the purpose of the PD&E study was to evaluate the environmental, traffic, engineering, economic, and social impacts for proposed widening and reconstruction of a 16-mile interstate corridor in Sarasota and Manatee counties. After reviewing the study documents and public input received at the public hearing, the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, approved the PD&E study and the recommended alternative on December 8, 2011. During the PD&E study, FDOT considered numerous alternatives. FDOT compared and reduced these alternatives down to the four shown, which were analyzed in greater detail. The existing diamond interchange, add off-ramp to Wilkinson Road, and the existing diamond interchange, add lanes, were advanced for public review during the public hearing. The existing diamond interchange, add lanes alternative, was selected as the preferred alternative and approved by FHWA in December 2011. Another option considered early during the PD&E study was a partial interchange with an off-ramp to Proctor Road. It was not advanced for further analysis because it did not divert enough traffic from the adjoining interchanges, would require vehicles to backtrack north to commercial areas on Cattleman Road, and the Proctor Road Bridge has site distance issues and will also need to be replaced in the future Ultimate I-75 project. During the value engineering study completed at the beginning of the design phase, an off-ramp to Weber Street was also evaluated. It was not approved as part of the final design for several reasons. A ramp at this location would add more traffic to southbound Cattleman Road, which would increase traffic volumes at the intersection with Bee Ridge Road. Also, a ramp here is not compatible with the ultimate I-75 project or interchange spacing criteria. The final design accommodates projected traffic increases through 2040 and improves operational movements of the interchange and intersection. Also, the final design meets current FDOT criteria and will enhance safety. This design project for I-75 from south of Bee Ridge Road to south of Fruitville Road proceeded into the final design phase in May 2013. 
At the start of the design phase, the approved PD&E study alternative for this segment of I-75 was evaluated and updated to reflect changes to projected traffic, FDOT criteria, and identified operational issues. Over the last year, FDOT held three public information meetings and one public hearing to review the proposed design changes and to receive public input on the project. As part of the final design change, an interchange modification report was completed, and FHWA provided their concurrence that the proposed project design and design changes will have no substantial changes to the social, economic, or environmental impacts that would significantly affect the quality of the human environment. An addendum to the interchange modification report associated with the shift of the off-ramp to the north is currently with FHWA for approval. Also, the final design went through the value engineering process and no recommendations were advanced to be included in the final design. During the design phase, a new alternative was proposed and evaluated to address some operational issues with the interchange and intersection. The alternative combines three very effective operational techniques to develop an overall alternative that provides a fully functioning interchange and intersection while increasing overall safety for vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists. This alternative has improved traffic operations, but has comparable costs and impacts to the approved PD&E alternative. Let's look at some of the movements at the proposed B Ridge Road interchange in more detail. If you are driving north on I-75 and want to go east on B Ridge Road, you would exit the interstate and turn right similar to today's interchange. If you want to go west on B Ridge Road, or north on Cattleman Road, you would exit and turn left on B Ridge Road and pass under I-75 and either continue straight through the intersection or turn right onto Cattleman Road, also similar to how you drive today. If you want to go south on Cattleman Road, you would exit and turn left on B Ridge Road, but would shift to the left into lanes that would allow you to turn left onto Cattleman Road. Now let's look at the movements if you are heading south on I-75. If you want to exit the interstate and go east on B Ridge Road, you would exit and turn left and follow the lanes on the north side of B Ridge Road before shifting to the right side of the roadway after the interchange. To exit and head west on B Ridge Road or north on Cattleman Road, you would exit at B Ridge Road like you do today and either continue west through the intersection or turn right onto Cattleman Road. If you want to go to the Cattleman Road area south of B Ridge, you would exit the interstate at the same location as the other movements but would continue farther south over a new off-ramp that crosses over B Ridge Road, continues along the interstate behind the Walmart and Home Depot, then turns towards Cattleman Road. Traffic projections for 2040 indicate that an estimated 21,900 vehicles per day would exit southbound I-75 at this interchange. Only 4,000 of these 21,900 vehicles per day would use the off-ramp to Cattleman Road. A closer look at the connection to Cattleman Road shows vehicles can go north and south on Cattleman Road. The ramp will not increase traffic on Wilkinson Road or Casa del Sol Boulevard. Vehicles exiting I-75 will not have direct access to go west onto Wilkinson Road as a traffic separator will prevent this movement. Similarly, vehicles from the ramp will not go directly onto Casa del Sol Boulevard. To access southbound I-75, vehicles east of the interstate would take westbound B Ridge Road, shift into turn lanes at the interchange, and turn left onto the on-ramp. If you were driving north on Cattleman Road, you would turn right at the intersection into a dedicated right turn lane to make an almost immediate right onto the on-ramp. Similar to today, from southbound Cattleman Road, you would take a left at the intersection into another turn lane on B Ridge Road before taking a right onto the southbound on-ramp. Also similar to today, if you are west of Cattleman Road on B Ridge Road, you would continue straight through the intersection before taking a right onto the on-ramp. Access to the northbound I-75 from east of the interstate is similar to today's condition. 
If you are driving westbound Bee Ridge Road, you can turn right onto the on-ramp prior to the interstate overpasses. Access to northbound I-75 from areas west of the interstate is different from today's condition due to removal of the loop ramp and the replacement with the hybrid DDI shifted left turn lanes. If you are traveling east on Bee Ridge Road, you would shift over to the left prior to the overpasses before turning left onto the northbound I-75 ramp. If you are headed north on Cattleman Road, you would turn right on Bee Ridge Road and would also shift into these lanes prior to the overpasses and turn left to enter the interstate. From southbound Cattleman Road, you would make a left onto Bee Ridge Road and would then also shift to the left to access the northbound I-75 on-ramp. If you are traveling west on Bee Ridge Road through the interchange, you will be able to make a right onto the northbound I-75 the same as today. To head south on I-75, you will have to shift over to a turn lane prior to the overpasses to make a left onto the southbound ramp. To travel south on Cattleman Road, you will also have to shift over to the left into a new set of turn lanes prior to the overpass so you can make a left turn onto Cattleman Road. To get to northbound Cattleman Road, you would continue on Bee Ridge Road and shift into the right turn lane after the overpass, similar to today's conditions. To travel west on Bee Ridge Road without turning at the interchange and intersection, you will be able to stay in through lanes the same as today. If you are traveling east on Bee Ridge Road, you will shift over to the rightmost lane to turn right onto southbound Cataman Road. As part of the new intersection design, you would shift into new left turn lanes prior to turning north onto Cattleman Road. If you want to head south on I-75, you will shift to a right turn lane after passing through the Cattleman Road intersection to make the right onto the I-75 on-ramp. To travel east on Bee Ridge Road, you would travel on the right-hand side of the roadway through the intersection and interchange. To head north on I-75, you would shift over to the left prior to the overpasses before turning left onto the northbound on-ramp. FDOT will provide pedestrian accommodations with Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, compliant sidewalks along B Ridge Road through the interchange. Through the interchange, sidewalks will be to the outside of the travel lanes or barrier protected if between the lanes. At the Bee Ridge Road Cattleman Road intersection, crosswalks and pedestrian refuge areas will be on all legs. As part of the proposed design, there will be continuous bike lanes throughout the interchange. Bicycle facilities will conform to the newly defined FDOT standard, which calls for seven foot buffered bike lanes to the right of the through travel lanes. At several locations, the bike lanes will include keyholes or a designated bike lane between a through lane and a right turn lane to provide a safe area for bicyclists at intersections or ramps. Bike lanes will be protected at off-ramp locations by signals. Since the proposed design for the interchange differed from that approved during the PD&E study, a traffic noise re-evaluation was warranted. The re-evaluation identified traffic noise impacts at multiple land uses along the project corridor. Noise abatement, in the form of noise barriers, was evaluated at a total of 11 locations. A noise barrier was determined to be a potentially feasible and cost-reasonable abatement measure at one of the 11 locations evaluated. This graphic provides the location of the potentially feasible and cost-reasonable noise barrier along I-75 near the Springs at Bee Ridge Apartments. The barrier is still subject to a thorough engineering review to identify and resolve any conflicts associated with its construction, operation, and maintenance. Noise barriers at other locations were not determined to be feasible and reasonable because of their inability to provide minimum noise reduction requirements at a cost that is below the FDOT cost reasonableness criteria. Written comments will be accepted at today's meeting. Staff is available to discuss the project and answer your questions. For additional information on the project, proposed design, or to submit comments after the meeting, please visit the project website at www.swflroads.com.
forward slash I-75 forward slash B Ridge RD to Fruitville RD. The Environmental Review, Consultation, and other actions required by applicable federal environmental laws for this project are being or have been carried out by the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, pursuant to 23 U.S.C. Statute 327 and a Memorandum of Understanding dated December 14, 2016, and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and FDOT. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the presentation. Thank you for attending.